Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Dwarf Fortress, shall we? Well, guess what? We're making a bunch of mugs, and these mugs are coming along so well. We are now, if we go down, and we go down again, and we go down again, creating a huge stockpile area, which is beautiful. Now, I'm going to go up, and I'm going to show you some stuff. So first of all, uh, it was pointed out to me, sadly, that this temple that I built is not large enough. I noticed that uh, you needed to make it bigger, but I thought maybe it would count the surrounding tiles. Anyway, um, no, this does not count as a temple. Even though it's zoned as a temple, if you notice, um, you know, the temple itself, even though it's supposed to be this... I don't think it's working because it's not large enough. So if you want to make, um, you know, this to be a temple, it looks like it needs, uh, it does have a performer. Well, stored instruments, maybe it is working. It looked like it needed to be 25 tiles large, but I think maybe it's sort of okay. Um, so that they're a, they agreed to build a temple. We have 19 worshipers. You can recognize a priesthood once this is a temple. Ah, but it's not a temple yet. So that's what's going on. So it's like we started it, and it's the right idea, but it's not big enough. So we're going to need to build them a larger temple. So how could we do that? Well, one way to do that would be very simple. Uh, would just be to uh, mine out, you know, this and then one, two, three times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It would now be large enough. So we have to mine this out. We have to smooth it and all that. And we can put engravings. But then we'd be getting uh, into a better position. So we're going to do that. We're going to make this bigger so that uh, this can be actually be a temple. Now I'm going to show you down here. Uh, we are now brewing bunches of drinks. And I'm going to look at this. If I click in... Uh, oops. Oops. Let me not mining anymore. I'll click on this bin. Look how many mugs we've already made. Here's the mugs, and they get stored in this bin. It's so great. Uh, so if we click on this bin, it's got nothing in it. This isn't filled yet. This is how much it can hold. You can see this says finished goods bin, and its weight is increasing, and they're just putting mugs in this all day long as they make them, and it's fantastic. And um, as far as mechanisms are going... We appear to not be getting many of them at all, or they're storing them someplace confusing. Yeah, there's some mechanisms right there and over here. And this stockpile is a custom stockpile that, well, it's holding, that's why it's holding so much stuff. What's this stockpile? This is a furniture stockpile. So curiously, um, I made a mechanism stockpile. Let me see. Yeah, they're putting it in furniture. All right. Well, remember when I made this stockpile here? Uh, they were still mining this, so I couldn't designate this. But all you have to do is just click repaint and then just, like, add all that to it. Just, there you go. Then I'm going to go up. And this stockpile that I built as custom um, to only be furniture. Oh, it is furniture and mechanisms. Okay. Okay. It, they'll get there eventually then. Um, all types of mechanisms. So, whatever. It's just lower priority, maybe. Okay. It's it's set right. It is furniture. All right. Now, um, something I want to do is I'm going to go outside. And you can see we have this giant pasture with all these animals set up. And we have our trade depot. I'm going to start thinking about defense. So, right now things are pretty peaceful. We don't have to worry about a ton. We're doing okay. Our food is, eh, you know, okay. Uh, we are planting as much as we can. And we're getting drink. So, you know, there's that. We could start butchering animals or something if we need food desperately. Or, you know, send someone off to go fishing right here if we need. But I'm okay with where we're at. So we can build a fishing platform later, you know, perhaps if we're uh, really, really wanting to do that. And maybe we will. 
But what I'm more worried about is I'm going to pause the game. You notice how, okay, we have this front entrance to our base with these two doors. Well, if I go up, you see the sides of this mountain. If enemies were to come from off the map and, you know, start up here and maybe even up here, this is as high as they could get in, they can just walk down the side of the mountain and then get inside our base. So what we have to do to prevent that from being possible is we need to take all of this uh, slope and we need to flatten it so that they can't do that. So that's going to be one project. The other project I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wall uh, around our base. And I'm going to build a pretty massive wall that kind of just go frames the corner of our base just to provide some light defense and be like it just feels like a base. It feels more aesthetic, you know, if I have this, like, cool fenced area. Now, you could build a small little wall if you want, but I'm going to try to build something more impressive. Now, to do that, um, we're going to uh, go ahead and um, do, 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 mining. Oops. And what you can do is you can uh, not dig a channel, not dig a ramp. There we go. Let's see if this will do it. Yes. Okay. So it's this one right here. So you need to designate constructed walls, floors, and other constructed tiles to be removed. And you'll notice then that this is removing the, the access. So we're going to just keep doing this on all of the sloped pieces that we can. Okay. Wherever that's possible. So that nobody surprises us. One time I thought I was safe in my base. Then all these goblins started just walking in. It was terrible. So I'm just going to trace the entire outside. Uh, like that. You can actually even, you know, do it more broadly like this. Just keep it outside of your base. Like so. And get this. Get this. takes a second, but once we get this done, I'll feel safer. It does not take them very much time to do this. However, something you want to be careful of is make sure that uh, nobody's up here on the top portion of the screen when you do this, because if they are, um, they won't be able to get down. So you m would need to build like a stairway or something. You don't have to worry about these ramps. If there's nothing for people to get into up here. Now, you can take these out, but um, we're just going to watch them work. You can see them from above. They're, like, taking away all of this access. And it's working great. Okay, now let me go to my temple. And did they do it? They did it. So now all we need to do is um, smooth it. And we're going to be like, hey, smooth all of that, please. Good. And then um, I can even actually just tell them to uh, engrave up here, and that's good. All right, so here they come. They're going to do that. We have no meat left. We have plenty of mechanisms. And is anybody making cages for us? I don't see any cages at the moment. This is our, like, gem room okay and let me go looking at this mm-hmm I'm gonna stop mining right in this room I'm gonna create some workshops so we're gonna go uh, oops build workshop and it's time for some jewelers I'm gonna put a jeweler here and I'm just gonna click claystone that's great and then we're going to click Build Workshop Jeweler right here. Claystone. Great. And so they'll get on to doing that for us. And we can also just start building some uh, doors like this. And whatever doors you've got, start throwing them on here. Yep. Oh, I got I to gotta do the special thing where it's like keep building after placement. Use closest. There we go. 
Now, somebody has, uh, actually a couple of people told me that the way that I was de uh, designating the rooms is kind of old school. You don't need to do it that way anymore. And what I mean to say is you used to have to manually uh, assign each room. But now if you just assign them in, as bedrooms, people will use the bedroom um, in preference of a dormitory. And they will only put one dwarf in a room, you know. I like to assign it still anyway and until it gets, you know, too many dwarves. Uh, just so you can know, like, who's getting the cabinets, who's getting the nice furniture and stuff like that. All right, let's see what's going on here. Um, they can't... Oh, we need logs. We, we used all of our logs. All right, that's good to know. So we're going to have to go outside, push F1, and we're going to need to tell them to cut down trees. So I'm going to push um, the L button and uh f1 and just say hey uh you know trees trees all these trees cut them down people okay great all right now you do want to be careful to not to try to not chop down trees like above your base but other than that we're good Okay, and now, look at this, we're up to 200 drink. So we're making plenty of drink, which is phenomenal. Okay. And now we finish these. So once we've got these to, uh, jewelers workshops in, I'm going to push O for orders. And we're going to add a new order. And it's going to be involving um, the jewelers workshop. And here's what we want to do. We want to cut gems so somebody needs to be cutting gems like all the time and this is not going to be this is going to be like where i say amount of large gems available is um rough gems uh let's see amount of large gems available is less than 10 then you know make 10 but we're gonna do this even more so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and say okay great i'm gonna push escape on this and then for cut gems i'm going to change it to uh 50. so i want 50. i want as many gems as possible like i want somebody basically always cutting gems good and then i'm going to give another order which is at the jeweler's workshop and what we want is to encrust finished goods with cut gems. And then um, this one the same way. We're going to say um, amount of gem cut gems. If it's greater than 10, then do it. Except um, I'm going to change this so that if it's greater than 2, <laughs> you do it. And then we're going to push escape. And then for this one, same thing. I'm going to say do 50 the the mugs that we're making by themselves don't sell for a ton you see if i click in here i've got these stilt sewn mugs remember that the icons on the edges indicate the quality so the better these symbols you know that it means higher quality for each one the view stockpile no, no no this is fine and how's this been doing yep look at this they're making more and more mugs so great and i'm going to push i'm going to unpause that and we can go to uh labor and I just want to make sure that, yeah, we're good. I don't want, I want anybody doing this who can, but I can assign specifically some dwarves to like do this job. If I have people who are uh, amazing at this. Now these people are gem cutters and gem setters just because they took the jobs, but that's okay. They'll get good at it over time and they're going to start working it. And then what we're going to want is um, we probably want a stockpile here that's cut gems. So what I'm going to do is create a stockpile that's like right here. Um, oops, uh, I didn't do the right thing. Here we go. Stockpile right here. And we're going to accept it. And this is going to be uh, gems. Okay. And But we're going to say custom gem. I want it to be uh, only cut gem. And all cut gems are available right here. There we go. 
Fantastic. So the person who's cutting the gems has to kind of go down and pick up the gems from the little gem stockpile that we've built, but that's okay. And let me check my temple. It's good. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, all right, I want to um, expand. I'm going to repaint this to include that. And now the meeting area is 31. So this should actually be enough. Recognize priesthood. You can recognize a high priest when this is a temple complex. Okay. So, now, um, we have recognized this as a priesthood, and um, they, they need uh, sacred luxury. Click somebody to assign them. Who's going to be the, and a performer? Who's the person who's, like, amazing at this? Uh, this is a skilled intimidator, a uh, skilled pacifier. That's probably right. Skilled negotiator. Skilled judge of intent. Um, do this person, yep. And then performer. Legendary musician, yes. Perfect. So we've got a legendary musician. Um, and we have like an adequate dancer. Okay, there we go. And we have a musician. Perfect. And then we have um, a wind instrumentalist. Okay, this is great. I'm going to just let it go. So now the temple needs should be met, hopefully. And we'll go down. You can see all of the slopes have been taken away. Good. And now we finally got logs. So we should be able to uh, make cages and stuff like that because we're getting logs. Now, where's somebody making the cages at? Here's a, a cage. We need to make a stockpile for cages. Uh, let me go down. I'll put it right next to here so I can just see how it's going. It's not the best place in the world, but it's okay. And we're going to go ahead and do um, animals custom. All I want are... Um, empty cages. Yep. I don't want people who are trapped. I just want empty cages. Alright, there we go. We'll need to create another stockpile if anybody gets trapped in our cages. That's another thing altogether. Alright, so what's going on here? What you doing? Um... She was blissful, remembering sleeping in a very good bedroom. That's great. Um, she was grouchy, drinking the same old booze. That's something you'll always get until we can start getting different booze, unfortunately. Um, let's see if any of this stuff has been decorated yet. Not yet. Proud, grouchy... She felt proud, remembering her own fine bed. You know it. All right. Let me pause the game. Um, this guy became a planter. The priesthood of the coven is ready to be recognized. Um, I think we did it. Uh-oh. Look at this. So our woodcrafter became possessed... And they claimed a workshop, and they've begun a mysterious uh, construction. So I'm going to go up and look at that. So what that means is, um, this dude, I think, is right here. Uh, Ushat. Oh, no, where's Ushat? Doran. Bormak. Well, where'd you go? Oh, yeah, so this guy became possessed, and he's working here. So what this means is this workshop is off limits until he gets done. He got possessed by his, like, amazing idea. Um, and they can't do anything. They need spawn. They need logs. Okay. Uh, we made some great beds. Fantastic. All right. So let's keep decorating. So I'm going to go ahead and build um, some cabinets. And any room that doesn't have a cabinet will get a cabinet. You know it. 
cab, cab, cab. Okay, no more cabinets. Good. Yes, look at this. Oh my god. So, this woodcrafter has created Sutkib, a Bayberry wood figurine of Etad uh, Shovel Elders. He offers it to the Seal of Tubes. Great. Okay, so he made some, like, amazing thing. And then now he's going to do his thing. Um, he created it here. Is it in this? Yeah, here it is. Look at this. This is a Bayberry Wood figurine of Etad Shovel Elders. All craftsman dwarf ship, or craft dwarf ship, is of the highest quality. The item is a masterfully designed image of Etad Shovel Elders, the human, and Isos Twig Mountains, the intense, uh, the rock in Bayberry Wood in Ushat Stony Mush. Uh, Isos Twig Mountains, the intense, is striking down Etad. The artwork relates to the killing of the human Etad Shovel Dwellers by the rock Esos Twig Mountains on the uh, the Intense in the Horn of Droplets in 81. All right. So it is an image of a Marquis cut gem in Bayberry Wood. Great. So this will be like a really cool item that people love. And uh, we can sell it or just keep it. Fantastic. All right dismiss this um winter is on us the weather has cleared we struck a bunch of cool stuff now we probably have a bunch of people who aren't doing anything so let's see how are we doing Ooh, look at this what's this microline okay cool and let's just see how deep we got all right so on this floor right here for example um i'm gonna zoom out all the way make this really small i'm gonna push mining and we have some people who aren't doing anything so they're just about to get some jobs. I'm going to mine. Um, well, not like that. Never mind. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to mine as much as you can in a hallway like this. And I just like to uh, try to mine like all the way through and just see what we find. Just I'm looking for gems and stuff like that. So we're looking for metal. We're looking for just good stuff. And it's easiest to do this when uh, you are, like, completely zoomed out. All right, great. So this job will take them, you know, a long time. And I'm actually building to, like, the corners of the earth right here. So like I said, not easy, but fun. There you go. Unpause. Okay. And I will zoom back in using the bracket keys. All right. Take off mining. What does this mean? Um... Rock door is completed. Great. They finished that work order. Okay. All right. This is looking beautiful. Now it's time for our big job. I'm going to go to... Um, we need to make some construction. So we're going to go to construction. And we're going to just build a wall. And I'm going to try to build... We're going to build the closest material. Um, except um, I want it to be stone... So I'm going to say select material after placement uh, because I want it to be at least stone, what we're making. Okay, so I'm going to build a wall like this. Too close to the edge. Here, make it like... Okay. Can't make it there, apparently. Alright, so then what we're going to use uh, is not logs. Um, I want to use... Uh, claystone is just fine. All clay stone. And then we're going to make a wall that goes here. And we're going to make it out of clay stone all. Now this is a wall I want to make at least two so that 
uh, what we can do is we can create staircases so that people can climb up here and then they can like man the parapets if we want. We can put crenellations up here so that archers can shoot out like from hidey holes and things like that. So I'm going to make this a pretty formidable wall, but I am going to leave space uh, right here for people to get in. So this is where we will create our entryway. Okay, and we're going to make this out of sandstone or claystone rather it's fine claystone there i'm making it all out of claystone because we have a lot of it and because uh i like to have it all look the same but we are running low on it now now, I'm going to um, connect this wall actually to here. And then put one more here. There. The reason I'm not making it all the way around the mountain is because we can't build to the edge anyway. So let's just do it like this. So we're going to make like an exterior wall. We're leaving a spot. It needs to be at least three t tiles wide, um, or at least it used to, so that the trade caravan can get inside. So you have to leave enough space for that. Now, what we're going to do eventually is probably try to dig a moat around this, or at least right here, and then use a drawbridge so that we can allow the trade caravan to come in, but we can close the drawbridge if bad guys are trying to mess with us. All right. So now we've given people like this massive project to do. And hopefully they will get to it. And let's see. Let's check out our temple. Looks really good. I, mean, I need to uh, actually set uh, engraving. So that they uh, finish this up and it looks amazing. There he goes. Engraving away. And I'm going to click on this. And I'm just going to see like. Let me check out this zone. All visitors welcome. There's no chests. Um, sp stored instruments. Desired. Um, they need five. We have zero. So we need to build a chest in here and we need to store some instruments. But we need to acquire instruments and we don't really have any. So that would be something that, you know, we need to make or get. And what we can do is we can build a furniture and we can build a chest right here. And we have this, and we can build another right there. And we can build, that's good. There's some chests. Now this animal is coming in here for animal reasons. Oh, you know what? Yes, this is a good point. Um, our pasture needs to be placed inside the wall. And we'll build it up here, actually. So I'm going to move it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, this pasture right here. I'm going to uh, remove it, and I'm going to make a pasture that is, like, you know, ginormous up here, except. So here's our pasture. Okay, great. And I'll unpause it. So the animals should eventually move up there once they get the message. You can see the wall is coming in. It's coming in beautifully. They're building it here, and we're going to get this thick exterior to our base. It's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to go down. I'm going to check our workshops and see how it's going. So there's some mugs there. There's some mugs here. Uh, he's become a farmer. It's raining. Masterpiece. Some great cages. Okay, good. Um, no, they can't brew drinks. They can't build. There's something blocking it. That's fine. Um, now... I am curious. Let me look at the orders. Make rock mug. Like, what's going on? Why is this not done? Oh, they made 50, didn't they? They checked it already. Okay, look at this. So... I need to change this to available empty rock mugs is less than a thousand. Um, 
And then now, they should actually make it. And then cut gems is almost done. So we need to change this so that it says large gems is um, less than a thousand. I want them always basically trying to do it. Oh, uh, 50 is fine. And then, uh, yeah, that's fine. Well, wait, am I doing this right? Let me look at this one. It says, amount of gem cut gems available is greater than two. That is correct. All right, great. Okay, so the wall's coming in. We got a lot of tables done. So, something that I want, I'm going to say build uh, cages, and what we want are um, traps. So, I need to go to traps, and I want cage traps. So, I've clicked traps, cage traps, and I want to build some. I need to build them, like, outside of my base, but away from my drawbridge. So, I'll put one here, and we'll say use a claystone mechanism. And we can build one uh, here, and that's fine. Here, like this. And so I'm just building traps everywhere. Now, I they may have changed it so that uh, your caravans can actually trigger the traps, which would be a shame. Okay, there we go. We got a bunch of traps on here. And then I'm going to build some more traps. Cage traps. And we're going to build one here. 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 Now, uh, another thing I want to build is a restraint. And I'm going to build a rope chain uh, right there. Pigtail rope. Now, what this does is it allows us to put a dog on this chain when it gets done. And then this dog will uh, help protect our base. And the reason this is important, um, Sparrow remains, is because sometimes there are these goblins that try to, like, sneak into your base. And they skulk in and they're hard to detect. But the dogs can, like, sniff them out. Alright, so the, you can see the walls are coming up. Now check this out. If I go up a level, you see that the top of the wall kind of looks like a floor. And we have a choice. We can make this wall even taller if we want. And we actually need to be mindful of the fact that um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a staircase up so that our dwarves can walk up here. But we need to get rid of all of these down slopes because we don't want enemies coming down from this and then walking onto our wall. So we have to watch out for that now. So I'm going to go ahead and build um, a construction, and we need to build a stair, and it will just be like right here, and it goes up to here. And micro line is fine. This will allow them to get to the top of the wall. Sometimes they can't finish it. But this one they might not be able to get to. But once they build this staircase, they will. You can see they're putting in the traps right there. Your dwarves will not trigger the traps. Or at least they didn't used to. If they do, then this is going to be a huge problem. And we'll have to completely rethink this. But they used to never trigger your own traps. It's only bad guys that can trigger them. These traps are called cage traps. And what they do is it will trap the enemy inside. And then you can kind of do what you want with it. They're super awesome. They trap angry animals. They trap goblins. I've trapped like a cyclone. Cyclops. It's like a massive thing. Legendary Cyclops inside this cage trap. They're so good. They're, they're one of my favorite ways to defend. And we're just kind of getting them in, just practicing this. You can see we're trying to build more and more here. All right, fantastic. Wheelbarrows there. They're planting. We've got plenty of drink. And they start making more mugs. Here they come. Look at this one. This mug right here um, 
It's encrusted with superior quality square, brilliant cut sapphires and encircled with bands of well-crafted marquise cut rose quartzes. So this baby is a like amazing siltstone mug that is encrusted with gems. This is how we're making our money. You can see that they're slowly starting to do this. Um, you can always click on a gem, like a mug in here, and then click the glass and it uh, to look at it. It just says it's a well-crafted mug. But if it's got these um, like greater than and less than symbols around it, that means it's been encrusted. It takes a while for them to do it, especially at the low skill. But we're going to get there. How many gems do we have in here? Not many. Where's our other gem stockpile? Down here. You got any in here? No. Not really, no. Okay, so now let's just check on how's the mining going. Look at this. Agates. Okay, so we found some gems here. We found some opals here. This is what I'm talking about. This is why you start to do a project like this. Here's some uh, citrines. So we're finding gems all over the place on this level where we're mining out. Uh, this is hematite. You know, so you can just look at the and mouse over to see what is available in terms of the ores and the minerals and the gems and things that you might want to get. Uh, this is more opals. This is microline. So when I see opals, you know what I do? I open it up. I say, great. You know, like mine through that. Open it up. What's this? Limonite. Okay. If we see any more gems, then we're going to go for it. Sweet. Okay. Awesome. All right. So at this point, we are now in, uh, we have jewelers. We are cutting gems. So they find, like, in the caves, they will find a rough resin opal, like a large gem like this. And then you give them the order to cut it. In the jeweler's workshop, they can do that. And then once it's cut, they can, they can add it to finished goods like the mugs that we're making to increase their value tremendously. We're making traps, but in order for these traps to work, we have to both have cages, which we're making, and we have to have mechanisms. The staircase is done, so now they can climb up here. So we need to actually go to remove, um, not, uh, we need to actually, here, click, yes. Click on mining, and then click on this. We need to remove all of these edges so that nobody can walk into our base from up top and the reason we have to do this on this second level now is because of our wall that's right here we can't prevent them from coming off of the map so we might need to build separate walls to do that but for now uh, we're looking great and they're going to go up here and they're going to keep working on this and look at this we have 300 drinks so we're rocking on drink all right perfect so we'll finish this up. Cage traps are going in. Oh, and now what you can do is we finish this pigtail rope. We can attach um, a dog of ours. So we have this hunting dog, and we can assign it to this tether. They will just tie it up right here. And you just have to make sure that somebody is taking care of it, like giving it water and stuff, and it will be fine. And then this dog will, like, sniff out anything that's able to get past our cage traps and stuff. Awesome. All right, so food doing well. Bedroom's good. Gems happening. Mugs happening. Mechanisms happening. Massive. Look at this stockpile with all of the furniture that we're making. So good. And we have a new mining project. Ooh, look at all these opals we found. Those are going on some mugs. And we need to continue mining and continue building the wall and our fortifications, getting more migrants to come in and progress our fort. But everyone, I think this is good progress for uh, this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're still finding this series to be fun and useful, and I hope you're having fun with Dwarf Fortress. Thank you so much, everyone who is sharing their tips, uh, correcting my old Dwarf Fortress knowledge and helping it to be updated for the Steam version and updates that I wasn't aware of, just clarifying the points so that new players can get into this game and enjoy it. I appreciate it so much, everyone. Take care.